How's it going everybody? Raf here from BNC Camera and today we've got the Fujifilm X-H2S. I just wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing for you guys. This is a brand spanking new camera system from Fujifilm and we're gonna see what's inside the box. So first up we've got of course your standard flyers, registration, this and that. Camera system all nice and packaged up. I'm gonna talk to you guys throughout the video real quick on the specifications of this brand new system. It's a pretty interesting one. It's a, a really high-end camera system from Fujifilm. So inside this little box on the side, you've got your necessary cables. Also comes with a strap, of course, one battery and a charger. So you've got all the goodies inside. So go ahead and put this off to the side. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the camera system. The Fujifilm X-H2S is a 26.1 megapixel camera. It is a APS-C sensor, but don't let that sensor fool you. It's actually a really powerful camera system. In terms of aesthetics, it's got the top uh, display similar to a GFX100, uh, GFX 50S, this and that. So it's got a really high-end um, look and feel to it. It's got a nice heft to it as well too. It does video. It's the main uh, selling point in bread and butter with this camera system is video. Uh, the first cool thing you'll notice when you open up the back is these two, two little screw ports. And I was wondering to myself, what the heck are these screw ports actually? I uh, looked it up online, you can actually hook up a fan to this back of the end of the system. So the fan's gonna help keep the sensor cool. And that's one of the big driving selling points of this camera is gonna be for video. Uh, speaking of video, it is going to do 4K 120 frames, 6.2K at 30 frames, full HD, which is 1080p of course, at 240 frames per second at 10 bit, which is insane for a camera system. So what that means is basically at 1080p, you can record up to eight times slow-mo and still have it nice and buttery smooth. Other neat features with this camera system as well is, in, is internal ProRes 422 and F-Log2. So if you want that nice flat color profile, Fuji has amazing colors in terms of just the flat color profile, so you can do a lot of coloring with the system. It's also got built-in IBIS up to seven stops, which is gonna be really helpful if you're gonna be doing handheld shooting as well. For you guys wanting to shoot with an external monitor, it also supports ProRes and Blackmagic RAW via HDMI as well too. So if you're gonna hook it up to basically an ATM Mini or any other system, uh, it'll work with that as well, which is really great. All right, let's look at the IO ports and the support for memory cards. On the right side, you'll have your memory card slots. It's got a CF Express Type B slot and a standard SD card slot as well too. For SD cards, of course, it's gonna take up to UHS-2. You probably want the fastest card possible in order to get that fast and speedy record times. Um, but for me, I would probably do all of my recording on the CF Express Type B, especially if you wanna record in ProRes 422, you're gonna need a lot of data retention and data writing speeds for that, so. On the left side, you've got your USB. It's gonna be a USB Type C is pretty standard nowadays with most camera systems. Um, for HDMI, you've got a full HDMI, which is great. I love that camera manufacturers are now doing full HDMI. You don't have to deal with micro, mini, this and that. Just, just make it easy for us, guys. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got your microphone right port right here on the top. And on the very bottom, you have your monitor port as well, too. So if you've got headphones, you want to make sure your audio is good to go, which you always want to do. You'll be able to do that on the very bottom as well, too. So yeah, all in all, it's a great camera system. It's got the variable angle screen. I think this, is, this camera is gonna be geared more towards videographers, cinematographers, this and that, all in a little package. So yeah, don't, uh, don't discredit the APS-C sensor. This, this thing's gonna pack a while up for sure and get a lot of cool videos done. The expected retail price for this camera is gonna be $2,499.95. So definitely pick it up when it drops. Thanks for watching the video. This is Raf from BNC Camera. And we'll catch you on the next unboxing. Peace.